top of the time zone, y'all. It is I, Freddy, today. Listen, I know I'm not technically supposed to make this vid since, you know, I didn't make the top 25 of the respawn recruits, but I decided to do it anyway, not only for the competition, but for more importantly for myself, because all this means a lot to me, plain and simple. In 2019, I started my first stream on Twitch. I was playing NBA 2K19. It was one of my favorite games at the time. I loved sports and basketball, golf, NASCAR was like my one-two punch right there in regards to what I was playing. Sometimes I play a little bit of Fortnite and hang out with the community at the time. And it was just something, you know, granted it was, you know, I started small. I didn't have all the equipment that, you know, PlayStation, my laptop. I didn't even have an Elgato at the time. So, like, I, I was doing window capture to, you know, try to get my overlay set up. It was weird, but at the same time, I, I still had fun, you know, doing what I could. And, like, you can't take that away. Fast forward a couple more years, found Respawn products. They started doing the Respawn recruits. And the first year, they had it. I lurked in it because did not wasn't sure what was going on. I was curious about you know what I would have to do and maybe if they run it next the next year, you know, I'll be ready to, you know, try and do something more to uh, the second year I went in and I'm not sure how far we went, but uh, I had one of the first few cuts, and all of this is a learning experience, you know, because ever since the first couple of years, I've been trying to find out ways to improve, uh, experimenting with things, with what can I do to do better, you know, how do I get myself out there more, you know, I was also kind of a bit passive towards it, you know, I, for most of the time, I know a lot of people I try to take a different approach and be like, hey, just let the work do the talking. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I would do so many things behind the scenes that not a lot of people would see. And it's it's still all, you know, a learning experience. I tried taking, for example, some of my clips and whatnot. I went to other platforms instead of TikTok, YouTube, the, you know, to be a pioneer and you know, hey let me go elsewhere and see if you know i could you know grow that way i failed a lot i definitely failed a lot but it's all a learning experience for me and you know last year i got a vouch when i made it to the top 20, uh, 250 and i was very grateful i felt like i realized starting to notice me and I was truly on and this year uh, we responded back to the back and I for one was like one of the many people who was like hey are the respawn recruits coming back and I was determined to you know make a lot of noise this year uh in regards to, to it because simply put like this is like my passion like this like my dream for a while now is for my first partnership would be with respawn like, i enjoy you know you know if it wasn't for them i my first chair that i bought but is the rsp 110 a couple years ago, I got it for a fun Christmas Eve, and it, pretty much there's there's even uh, I think a photo of me where I'm just sleeping in it because I enjoyed it so much, and uh, like, I just you know want to send the love to other people, and you know just it it really means a lot, and. 
hits the cut. Last week, I was a little bit upset. Uh, not to make any excuses, but I, I did, you know, it was indeed a rough week. But, you know, it's okay. We're all human. You know, uh, things happen. And, you know, I tried my best to make what I could. And, you know, I still was able to be able to improvise and collab with my group. So that way, you know, hey, I wouldn't be able to actually play and stream, but I would still be in the Discord call and commentate on, you know, the races like how I did. Uh, when one of the first few things going back to NASCAR, I used to commentate NASCAR races uh, for a league. So I pretty much you know, was like, well, since I can't really play, let me go ahead and do that. So that way I didn't let the team down in regards to, you know, hey, you know, having us all, you know, collaborate together. And, you know, with stuff like that, I feel like that should be something. To be able to improvise and make something out of nothing is really huge. And, you know, I don't think a lot of people see that. I think there was another time, there was even another time where I couldn't actually get a stream off because it was late and uh, I was running errands for a family at one time. I ended up taking the time to do a uh, recording, a little skit where, you know, it's like, hey, I like golf, so I was playing a uh, Nintendo Switch Sports. I uh, actually dropped the video, did a little bit of editing for the first time in a while. Because it, one of the things that you know restricts me from getting all the creative juices that I have is how much you know I've been working lately. And but I know a lot of other people have the same things going on. You know? So again, no excuses. I still try to make something out of nothing. And, you know, I'm really proud of myself for that, you know, I, in fact, you know, pretty much this is just me telling everyone how much I'm proud of myself for not giving up and keep going. I literally stayed up until 2 a.m., 3 a.m., trying to work on what I was going to say in this video, even though I just literally got off work. It really means something to me. It, I haven't been this eager to be a respawn recruit, to have this energy towards anything like this since I was looking for my first job. Uh, my first job was like I wanted to work at uh, this place where it was like a dollar fifty above minimum wage, and I was. I, I loved it so much, like, I would go there all the time, ever since I was a teen, uh, 14 I applied, 15, you know, I kept applying until finally, when I was 18, I finally was able to get the job, and it was like a dream come true, and I feel like it's the same way with respawn recruits, uh, I want to and am determined to win this competition simply because, you know, I shouldn't let one week, one rough week get to me, you know, despite all of the good we've done or throughout the entire year. I, one, I made, uh, uh, participated in about three charity streams, uh, two for Trans Lifeline and another for with and part of the Gremlin Squad for uh, Starlight Children's Foundation. And the whole team that I was part of, uh, we raised for twenty-four thousand dollars total across you know all the charity. part of that it it really means a lot to help get the word out send some love to everyone and before you know the challenge began you know just being able to collaborate with people and you know work together it it, it really means a lot and 
it's just one of the things that I'm looking forward to keep doing. Like, just finding ways to improve. Like, that's why you see me with uh, different models uh, as a VTuber. When I was a face cam streamer, I would have days where I'm just improv for the most part, you know. And I'm just ready to, like, move to the next level. It would be such a great honor, and I'll be truly grateful if by any chance I was able to come back to get back into the top five, ten. How much I've pushed myself before, I'm, I'm not going to stop. I, I'm simply not. I have worked too hard throughout the entire year just for one week. And I want to prove my worth, and I am determined to keep doing so, because winning this would mean a lot to me, and to be able to do what I've done, even on my off week, where we are supposed to take a break, I was still, you know, doing charity streams, because that's what it means to me. Even though I may be small, I don't have, you know, the, the big of a community right now. Like, I appreciate everybody that comes out and supports me and you know, whatnot. So I want to thank you for that. And it's, it's truly an honor. And I'm not, I'm not done here. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep pushing. And as long as I'm able to do stuff like this, I'm always going to be finding my ways to improve myself. Even if there may not be improvement I need to do, I'm still going to find something. I'm always looking forward to be better. No one can take away what I've done. And the, ability, the fact that I'm still here should say a lot. That, you know, I could have gave up just like ah that's it I'm you know I could have sat and you know moped around and whatnot but I'm like no I'm I'm not done I'm not finished you know I've been keeping silent about how my plans and everything for too long I, I really need to make some noise and I'm you know and I like to try to make the work talk but I'm also going to be doing some talking myself so I'm determined to make this the best year that I've ever done for the Reach Mom Recruits. Making a video like this uh, is, is crazy. And I appreciate the opportunity to be able to do this. I want to thank Reach Mom, thank everybody for supporting me so far. And, you know, I'm just, I'm hoping for the best because I know, like, I know it means a lot to me, and I'm gonna prove that I should be taken seriously. This means a lot to me, and I wanna make sure that, you know, y'all gonna hear me and see more of me. You know, whatever it takes, I'm going to do. Like, I've done it before, you know. Whatever it takes, honestly. So, this isn't the last time you've heard from me. As much as people like to say take breaks, I simply can't. I am always working on thinking about, you know, what can I do to improve? How can I be better? How can I be entertaining? How can I help people? I had this quote where I, I may say, I may lose all the time, but I'm still undefeated. And that speaks volumes to me because I could have gave up just went to work today and just take my loss where I'm like, no, let me go ahead and make a recap video. Let me give a montage of all of my greatest moments, not just from the respawn recruits of this year, but pretty much my entire streaming career, my entire, you know, content creation path where I've worked on music, I've made, you know, videos, I've done photography. 
one of the things I want to do is like be the chair photographer. Like I'll build the chair, take photos of it, make it look nice. I mean, yeah, I don't have the camera equipment right now, but you know, I could still work with something, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really, you know, determined to make something out of this. And I'm really proud of myself for what I've done because I don't think anyone else has the determination that I do. Like no one can feel how I feel and like how I keep pushing myself you know, despite all the odds, despite, you know, the time limitations, despite, you know, everything, the fact that I haven't gave up on any of the challenges this season and anything like that should mean a lot. And I'm willing to push it even further. So thank you so much for watching this. Uh, thank you for listening to me. And because again, it really, it means the world. Not a lot of people understand how much this means to me. And I have a lot of people I need to prove wrong. So thank you so much for this. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time, we'll see you.